There have been a few sensational videos posted on YouTube claiming that the recent volcanic eruption near Tonga is going to cause significant global cooling over the next couple of years. But I think we now know that that's not the case. The Tongan volcanic eruption likely will cause very little global cooling. In order for a volcanic eruption to cause significant global cooling, the eruption has to eject a substantial amount of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere. Uh, when sulfur dioxide enters the stratosphere, it combines with water vapor to produce fine particulates. And these fine particulates can reflect a little bit of the sunlight uh, that's hitting the Earth. That results in less warming of the surface. The last time uh, that occurred was back in 1991 when the Mount Pinatubo volcano erupted and ejected about 20 million tons of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere. When that happened, there was global cooling of about six tenths of a degree centigrade that lasted for about a year or two afterwards. The Hunga Tonga eruption uh, that occurred on the 14th and 15th of this month ejected only about 400,000 tons of sulfur dioxide into the upper atmosphere. This was a very violent eruption but fortunately, it only lasted for about 10 minutes. And we now have uh, instruments on satellites looking at the atmosphere of the Earth that can actually measure rather accurately the amount of sulfur dioxide uh, in, in the upper atmosphere. And those instruments told us that the total amount ejected from the Hunga Tonga eruption was around 400,000. That's about 2% of the amount ejected during the Mount Pinatubo event. So if the Mount Pinatubo event uh, created about uh, six tenths of a degree of global cooling over the following year or two, the Hunga Tonga eruption can be expected to uh, create a very, very minute amount of global cooling, maybe uh, uh, one or two hundredths of a degree centigrade. So it's really insignificant and we don't have to worry about it. Unless, of course, there are future eruptions which eject a lot more sulfur dioxide into the upper atmosphere. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it very much if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on my picture in the circle below. Thank you.